Now here's a quick little video um, showing you how to set up an event or rally poster in Affinity Publisher. It's an easy modifiable A3 standard size. Um, you can probably open it in Affinity Photo or Affinity Designer as well. And the files are available as usual from the download area on my website. So, section one is to set up a custom document because you're going to use this over and over, I'm sure of it. The A3 preset is built right in. So you select the A3 size sheet but make some modifications to it and then save it as your own modified preset. And you can see I've called it Rally Poster A3 down the bottom left hand side there. And you can see the standard sizes 297 by 420 millimeter. That's a standard size. Now I've set it to 300 dpi, but you could probably leave it at 72. It's just a poster after all. Now, you don't need bleed on this. It's probably printable from an A3 printer, in which case you don't need to worry about bleed. You only need that if it's going to a print shop. Now, the left margins and right margins, top and bottom, 25 and 30 millimeter at the bottom, but you can either leave those on or leave them off. I, I often like to leave them there to start with as a guide. You can always remove them later on. So click create and your opening blank document is created. You may find it necessary to turn off the margins as I mentioned. They can get in the way. Now, the supplied images that I've put in the graphics in the zip file um, are easily available. Now we put them in. Place the first element on the top right, carefully observing the size and placement of the object. The little images are SVG files and they're a little bit bigger than shown here, so you just reduce the size, 19.5 square and the XY placement as shown. There are minimum graphics elements in this document. Very, very little graphics. The second one you can put in. Now observe something here that the, the um, what would you call it, the traffic sign icon is upright there, but eventually you need to flip all these. So be careful what you're doing, otherwise the placement won't, be, they won't be in the right place. And that one is actually not in the right place because it's not flipped. <laughs> How's that for confusing the issue? You will see it in the end though. Now we place the other two similar elements, carefully observing the size and placements of the objects. Now the main image is the image of the girl. This image is masked for size to the same size as the yellow layer beneath it. And you can see the XY placement and it too, you need to be careful of its placement. Now the yellow layer, you can see there, this is a very, this is a very short video. The yellow layer is placed there, so it just pops out from beneath the image of the girl layer. Now you should note that all the yellow images but one are flipped. Unless you note this, they will not line up correctly. Now see the top two little yellow triangles? They're actually in line. The bottom yellow triangle is in a line almost with the edge of the big yellow rectangle, which it too is flipped. And you can see the smaller images there. I'm showing you the ones that are flipped. The only one that is not flipped is the top right hand triangle. So I've given you something to do there when you've got them all nicely in place and you think, they don't line up. What's he talking about? Well, that's the reason. <laughs> now there's the completed poster, A3 size. It's very simple, it's very straightforward, and it's very readable from a distance. In fact, that image of the girl there might be a lot more usable or appropriate if it was a hand drawn or a sketch or anything other than a photo because if you're far enough away from that you won't see what the image is.
So it's a simple design, easily readable from a distance. The images and templates are available from my website download area. And the completed poster, A3 size. And you can see the simplicity of it. And a very simple message too. Thanks for watching. I hope you find this useful.